Pluto is a far-off and baffling diminutive planet that was once an individual member of our planetary family. However, late, frightening declarations by leading astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and MIT's Michio Kaku have brought Pluto back into the spotlight with a stunning disclosure, they recommend that this frosty world is on a potential impact course with Neptune. Yet how might this occur, and what would be the outcomes of such a monstrous event? Are we seeing an interesting cosmic peculiarity, or is there something else to this approaching grandiose impact? Join us as we investigate the potential outcomes of a Pluto-Neptune influence. Pluto, a previous planet that was downgraded to a dwarf planet partially because of its unconventional orbit, remains a subject of interest and study in the cosmic community. According to recent forecasts by leading researchers, Pluto's trajectory is hazardously near Neptune's. Astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku are both raising the alarm about a potential dangerous impact between these two planets that could pose a colossal danger to Earth. How is such an event even conceivable? Pluto's excursion around the Sun is unlike any other planet in our nearby planetary system. It takes a stunning 248 years to complete a single orbit. This means that, since its discovery in 1930, it hasn't even completed one full transformation yet. The interest doesn't stop there. Pluto's path is marked by its profoundly curved shape, veering off significantly from the nearly round orbits of the major planets. What makes Pluto's orbit even more curious is its inclination, calculated at 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane. The path Pluto follows is much more extreme compared to the other planets. This inclination and eccentric nature add layers of complexity to its orbital pattern. Quite possibly, one of the most interesting aspects of Pluto's orbit is its intersection with Neptune's. For around 20 years in each orbit, Pluto actually comes closer to the Sun than Neptune, defying what we would expect from their positions in the solar system. This prompts the natural inquiry, why hasn't Pluto crashed into Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational effects of other planets. The study of Pluto's orbit began shortly after its discovery. Initially, astronomers tried to grasp its unique trajectory. Unlike other planets whose orbits lie relatively close to the ecliptic plane, Pluto's path stood out with its steep inclination and elliptical shape. The mystery deepened with the realization that Pluto's orbit actually crosses Neptune's. The stability of Pluto's orbit amidst these complexities is evidence of the intricacies of space mechanics. The three-body problem in space is about figuring out how three objects in space, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, move and influence each other with their gravity. It's like trying to predict where they will go based on where they start and how they pull on one another. For Pluto, this issue illustrates how its path, Neptune's orbit, and the Sun's gravity all work together in a complex manner. The terms alpha libration and scope libration, along with the VZK oscillation, are part of this puzzle. As indicated by astrophysicists, what's keeping all planets in their orbits is a phenomenon called alpha libration. In relation to Pluto and Neptune, this term means that whenever Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, it is situated about 90 degrees away from Neptune. This spatial separation is crucial in keeping their paths from impacting. Scope libration, on the other hand, refers to the vertical movement of a celestial body in its orbit. For Pluto, this means that when it comes closest to Neptune or any other giant planet, it is positioned significantly above their orbital plane, providing an extra layer of security from potential impacts. Another significant aspect in this situation is the VZK oscillation, named after three researchers, Von Zipper, Leo, and Kai, who studied how objects move in space. It's about how three space objects, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, pull on one another with their gravity. This pulling influences how they move. In Pluto's case, VZK helps us understand why its path around the Sun is so unusual. Despite the fact that Pluto's orbit appears to be all over the place, this oscillation helps keep it moving smoothly from now onward, indefinitely. The VZK oscillation shows that even if things in space seem wild and irregular, some patterns and rules keep everything together. All of these factors help maintain Pluto's orbit, ensuring it doesn't collide with Neptune or lose its course. This three-body problem assists in understanding how these paths change based on the way these space objects pull on one another. Focusing on this helps us learn more about Pluto, our nearby planetary system, and distant worlds and their stars. Mathematical simulations in the late 1980s revealed that despite these stable properties, Pluto's orbit is, in fact, turbulent, with minor deviations in initial conditions leading to significant differences over thousands of years. Nevertheless, these interesting properties of Pluto's orbit have been found to maintain stability over incredibly long timescales, effectively keeping the chaos in check. Recent computer simulations have helped us understand how the giant planets like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn influence Pluto's path around the Sun. Neptune has a special relationship with Pluto, where, 
for every two rounds Pluto makes around the Sun, Neptune makes three. This relationship helps keep Pluto's orbit stable. However, Neptune isn't the only planet at play. Jupiter's gravity also plays a huge role in safeguarding Pluto's orbit, and Saturn contributes significantly as well. These simulations show that Jupiter's gravity alone is strong enough to ensure Pluto stays on a stable path for a very long time, even billions of years. So, it seems like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn are working together to ensure Pluto continues to move securely in space without running into trouble. These phenomena are fundamental in the context of the universe for maintaining the order and stability of celestial movements. Without these components, the solar system as we know it would be a place of much greater chaos and unpredictability. Bodies like Pluto could potentially crash into others or be catapulted from their stable orbits, leading to a cascading effect on other celestial bodies. For Pluto, particularly with discussions about it potentially colliding with Neptune in the future, understanding its orbit is crucial. This provides us with a clearer image of the nearby planetary system's dynamic nature. The case of Pluto illustrates how even the most seemingly unstable orbits can achieve a state of harmony through the complex interplay of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. It also shows the importance of ongoing observation and investigation of these phenomena to better grasp our place in the universe. Exploring the depths of space often leads us to confront the erratic nature of celestial bodies, and Pluto's orbit is a perfect representation of this eccentricity. The concept of orbital chaos, which refers to the delicate dependence of a celestial body's orbit on its initial conditions, is distinctively outlined in the case of Pluto. This means that even slight variations in the dwarf planet's position or speed can significantly shift its long-term trajectory. In the vast field of our solar system, Pluto occupies a unique place that challenges our understanding of planetary classification and dynamics. Since its discovery in 1930, Pluto has undergone extensive study, leading to significant revelations about its composition and behavior. One of the most intriguing features of Pluto is its surface, which is an intricate embroidery of ice, rock, and various mixtures. The New Horizons mission, which flew by Pluto in July 2015, provided exceptional data about this distant world. The outer layer of Pluto is characterized by vast fields, towering mountains, and deep valleys. One of the most striking features is the Sputnik Planum, a massive heart-shaped plane primarily made of nitrogen ice. This region showcases a diverse array of landforms, including huge ice shelves and what appear to be flowing glaciers. The presence of these features indicates that Pluto might still be geologically active, despite its significant distance from the sun and low temperatures. Another interesting aspect of Pluto is its atmosphere, predominantly composed of nitrogen, with traces of methane and carbon monoxide. Pluto's atmosphere is tenuous, yet it exhibits fascinating seasonal variations. As Pluto approaches the Sun in its elongated orbit, its atmosphere can expand and contract. This dynamic behavior is a reflection of the complex relationship between Pluto and its environment. During its closest approach to the Sun, some of the atmospheric gases may freeze out onto the surface, while as it moves farther away, these gases can sublimate back into the atmosphere. The relationship between Pluto and its largest moon, Charon, also adds complexity to the system. Charon is relatively large compared to Pluto, with a diameter about half that of Pluto itself. This size ratio means that the two bodies orbit a point in space that lies between them rather than Pluto simply rotating around Charon. This unique relationship contributes to the intricate gravitational dynamics in the region, affecting the orbits of other objects in the Kuiper Belt. The Kuiper Belt, a region beyond Neptune populated with small icy bodies, is home to numerous other dwarf planets and potential impactors. This belt is a reservoir of ancient material from the early solar system, providing researchers with a glimpse into its formation. Pluto's orbital attributes could offer insights into the migration patterns of these distant objects, suggesting that interactions with larger planets might have played a pivotal role in shaping their current orbits. One of the key implications of understanding Pluto's orbital dynamics is the potential impact on our comprehension of the solar system's evolution. The gravitational effects from neighboring giant planets like Jupiter and Neptune can alter the trajectories of smaller bodies, including those in the Kuiper belt. Such interactions can result in shifts in orbits, potentially leading to impacts or ejections from the nearby solar system. As scientists continue to explore the details of these interactions, they may uncover broader patterns that govern the behavior of celestial bodies throughout the cosmos. The study of Pluto also raises philosophical questions about classification in astronomy. The decision to rename Pluto as a dwarf planet in 2006 was contentious, igniting debates about what constitutes a planet. Some scientists argue that Pluto's complex orbital behavior and distinctive features warrant its reclassification as a planet. 
Others believe that its small size and inability to clear its orbit of other debris make it fundamentally different from the major planets. This ongoing debate reflects the evolving nature of scientific understanding and the need for adaptable definitions that can encompass new discoveries. Additionally, Pluto's existence challenges our preconceived notions of habitability and the conditions necessary for geological activity. Its icy surface and distant orbit make it an unlikely candidate for life as we know it, yet the presence of complex landforms suggests that there might be processes occurring beneath the surface that could support subsurface oceans or even microbial life. Studying Pluto could therefore help researchers broaden the scope of astrobiology, considering environments that were previously deemed too hostile for life. Furthermore, Pluto's role as a representative of the Kuiper Belt makes it an important object for understanding the broader population of dwarf planets and icy bodies in the outer solar system. By examining Pluto's unique features, scientists can make inferences about other distant objects that remain out of reach.